Former President George H.W. Bush is lying in state at the U.S. Capitol where his body will remain through Wednesday. The 41st president died late Friday at the age of 94. Flags at the Capitol and White House have been lowered to half staff in his honor. NBC 6's Anna Warnicke joins us now live from Washington with more on how the public is paying tribute. Anna? It was an emotional day here on Capitol Hill as thousands of people filed into the Capitol Rotunda just to get a glimpse at the casket of former President George H.W. Bush and to say their final goodbye. It was a powerful moment inside the Capitol Rotunda as one World War II hero honored another. Former Kansas Senator Bob Dole rose up out of his wheelchair to salute at the casket of President George H.W. Bush. It was one of many touching moments today as generals, politicians, and civilians made their way through the Capitol Rotunda to pay their final respects. This is the former president's longtime service dog, Sully. You were able to pause for a moment and, and reflect a little bit in the rotunda. Mark Gaffigan says he remembers attending President Bush's inauguration in 1989. I feel very fortunate to come and honor another great man. But for Lou Blevins, Bush was more than just the nation's 41st president. He was his commander in chief. He was our leader. Blevins served in the Air Force under President Bush as a full time technician during Desert Storm and Desert Shield. When I heard of his passing, the first thing I wanted to do was come here and pay my respects to such a wonderful man, such a wonderful human being, and such a great leader of this country. President Trump visited the Bush family to offer his condolences at Blair House across the street from the White House. The 41st president will lie in state at the Capitol until Wednesday morning. Then he travels to the National Cathedral for an invitation-only state funeral. President Trump will be there, as will representatives from nations around the world. President Trump has declared Wednesday, December 5th, as a national day of mourning. Presidents Donald Trump, Barack Obama, George W. Bush, Bill Clinton, and Jimmy Carter are all expected to be in attendance at the service tomorrow, as is the Prince of Wales. Again, this is a private ceremony, but it will be live streamed for the public starting at 11 a.m. Live in Washington, I'm Anna Warnicke. Back to you. Thank you so much, Anna.